Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. And a big hello to all you folks who are just stopping in and all the new subscribers. Thank you for joining us. Um, so, this video, um, it's been pretty hectic around here. A lot of uh, last minute kind of emergencies. Uh, I need this motor fixed because of this. I need that. But anyway, it's been kind of hectic around here. And in this video, um, I'm going to uh, continue that. We've got. Oh, I don't know, a 25, a 35, a 15. Um, Got to finish up on that 9, <laughs> nine Yamaha 4-stroker, get it on the rack. Got to move some engines around, make room on some racks. Just a whole plethora of outboard fun. Yippee! So, uh, without further ado, I say... Let's get at it. I think the first thing we'll do is take this 1984 Johnson 35 and see if we can't wake it up and shake some creepy collies out of it. Let's do it. All right, what we got here is a 35 and a 25. And uh, they are both full of the creepy and the crawlies. So, I got the big orange by Zep, and it's got all kind of flammable, danger, eye irritant, skin irritant, they keep out of reach of the children. It's not allowed to be sold in about, oh, one, two, let's see, it says, California, Connecticut, Delaware, Illinois, Indiana, Massachusetts, Maryland, Maine, Michigan, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New York, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, and D.C. And the regulated areas of Virginia and Utah. So hopefully this is nasty enough that it get them crawlies on the run. Oh yeah, they're in there. So hopefully it'll serve a couple purposes. Get them crawlies running out of there. And actually clean the daggum thing. Because, boy, they're both filthy. They are both filthy. Look at all them spider webs. Ooh they always coming in up under there. I ain't worried about them car garbage raiders on these ones. Um, because they're going to have to be taken off and cleaned. This one here is electric start with charging. And I hope to put a tiller on it. But this will be the latter one I get to, and I'll tell you why. Because you remember, ooh, look at that. You remember that little uh, Yamaha I just put the manual choke on? Well, I want to paint up on that bonnet some. And get it out there on the rack. Possibly for sale or whatever. I've tested it a bunch of times now. And that choke works splendid. Come out, crawlies. Come out of there. I commend thee. Boy, this stuff smells powerful.
I am trying some Loctite Extreme Repair on the old bonnet hood here. Put it right down in that crack. Because it's coming off pretty much all the way around. Just putting a bead. See that? And then I'll put it in the uh, rubber part too. Well, been working pretty hard out here in the old sunshine, getting some motors washed up and a little bit of painting and organizing and such. And I thought, you know, I'm going to sit down and have myself a nice, cold, refreshing beverage. And so, I was sitting here talking with Fred, and I looked at him, I said, whoa. I said, Fred, that's a good idea, putting on a hat and some shades and whatnot to you know, keep you cool and stuff. You know what he said to me? He said, It ain't about keeping cool, doofus. I said, well, you know, the hat, you know, keep the sun out. I, I, you know, make it cool, you know. He said, you don't even get it. I said, get what? He says, it's not about being cool. He said, it's about looking cool. Well, I told him, I said, well, I've got some hats in there, you know, and I got some shades. I could, I could put it on and in addition to helping me be actually cool, I'd look cool. And he said, no, he said, uh, ain't nothing you wear going to help that mug. And even though he's right, I told him, I said, Fred, that, that wasn't a very nice thing thing to say then he said well it wasn't meant to be So I got the recoil start off of this thing and I got it soaking in my tank because my tank got all that good yummy stuff in it you know you know all that good yummy stuff and so I got it in there soaking oh so we got a pair of L77JC4s, looking at them, they're both a little, little bit early, that would be oily, but uh, I think I hit them on my wire bench, my wire wheel, bench wire wheel, 
whatever you call it, wire wheel, only takes a second to clean them up this way. Alright, so we got them all. Ain't that a lot better. So, let's get a Sparky Spider on this thing. Let's get a Sparky Spider. Because I know there's probably one, if this thing runs, there's probably more, more spiders than this Sparky Spider that's going to come around. There's them creepy crawlies in this one. I hosed her down with that orange blaster stuff. I saw one or two come out, but not a whole lot. But it's early yet. So I'm gonna put this glove so we don't get no ocky spucky on the bonnet. On the pan rather. Stick that there. Put our ground over here. And then find my see what size I'm pretty sure it's bigger than that one try it again I don't know if you saw that but I started off just getting spark on one on the bottom But I'm getting Sparky on two now. So I'm going to go ahead and pull off these leads real quick, even though I know I got Spark. And clean them up just a little bit, because that could be a problem. Oops. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you see this? In here we got one of these rusty things. I'm going to take that off. Can't stand them things. I'd much rather use just a good old zip tie. Than have all this rust. on my outboard. See these old rusty nasty things? The ground wires look good up in here. That's all clean. I don't see no problems there. No problemas, senores. Now, that fuel pump's looking pretty peaked there. So I'm going to get my wire brush in my old black and checker and give that a little tensionis, yonastanis. seal. Just pour it right up here and then paint that and that will all turn a purplish black color and that looks better than rust. Now we got to get this garbage radar off of there.
Okay, I took the old garbage raider apart. It wasn't bad inside. And I shot regular old carb cleaner and stuff up through it. And there's your high jet. You can see there, that's nice and free, unplugged. Everything looked in good in there. Um, I checked this little primer hose and it shoots out there. So, And then when I shoot it into the seat there, you can watch it come up there. So, she's pretty clean overall. Uh, let's see, I'll probably have to move this to around. Okay, for Daniel, uh, down in Australia, here's a couple six horses, but I want you to see this is how a lot of my parts are. I don't know what year this is off of. I took that one off of that six horse right there, and I don't know the year of that thing because the whole transom bracket but you can see I knocked off the salt and it's probably not a lot better than what you have um, and I cannot find a part number on it I thought it should be stamped right there right along there somewhere but I can't find one and that's not all on this side it's not all pitted and um, I, but I can't find a part number on the seal or I looked all around the edges maybe there there might used to be a part number right there looks a little squared off there but 
it's gone from pitting. That's the only one I have. I looked, and uh, that's it. And it ain't a lot better than what you have, I don't think. I'm trying to get you in all angles there where you can... So it's not in very good shape. Keep in mind, all my engines are saltwater engines. That's all I got. It has been a beautiful day. Um, we woke up some crepey crowleys. And uh, we got this old 35 Johnson woke up. But before I put this thing on the for sale rack, I think I'm going to slap it on my Bay Runner's gift and give this thing a run. It's doing something that's a little... Um, strange to me when when I first start it sometimes it it does a, a coughing or a chugging almost like something is going on with the exhaust on it so uh, although it it seems to run good um, it has done this little coughing thing a couple of times and I'm not sure what that is yet so I tried to make it do it uh, here just a little while ago, and I couldn't get it to do it. So now it was—I was having problems with the primer on it. Um, I, it was—it was spitting fuel in to the intake, but not enough. I could tell it just wasn't enough. So I'm not sure if it—I might have to open that carburetor one more time and look at that float or something but um, it'll start good right now and seems to run just fine as fast as I can run it in my tank so that's why I'd like to get it on the back of the boat and just take it for a short run so I think we'll have that coming up but right now it's getting a little long so I want to go and enjoy a little bit of this beautiful day and I still got some cleaning up and stuff to do. I did get the Yamaha 9 4 stroke all done up and it's ready to go on the 4 cell rack but I got to make a little bit of room first. So I think that's going to be a wrap on this one. That is one more hack from old Kodiak and thank you for watching. Well, we got the storm coming in, but isn't that a pretty moon? Got some white caps starting to get on the bay. But I just wanted to film that pretty moon. Yeah, wind's picking up. Don't know how good this little camera's picking this up, but it's a pretty moon. And to all a good night. More vids are a coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.